In light of reports that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are getting divorced, the media is rife with rumors of a falling out between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who have been residing in Montecito with their two children since they retired as senior working royals in 2020. In light of rumors that the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry are divorcing, it has apparently been stated that she has requested time apart from him. Due to Meghan's silence following the success of her husband's book, Spare, and her absence from her husband's promotional TV appearances, rumors concerning their marriage have started to circulate. There are rumors that the former Suits star does not want to steal the show with her presence by drawing attention away from the Duke. However, she allegedly opted to remain away because she wanted to be regarded as a person in her own right, and it annoys her that she's labeled clingy, according to Heat magazine. She thinks that the more commercial endeavors they can undertake independently, the more time they spend apart. Since Harry does not have nearly as many friends in America as Meghan Markle does, the tabloid noted, it's a tremendous change for him to suddenly divorce himself from her following all three years as a unit. He views having to heed his wife's counsel that it'll do them both good to expand their wings a little as a huge change. The latest allegations against the couple follow rumors that Harry and Meghan are getting a divorce. Earlier in January, a clairvoyant predicted that their union would crack and eventually end in divorce, turning Prince Harry into a very troubled man. After the charge stick ed, Harry wanted to arrange a press conference to state I didn't cheat. According to Prince Harry, the claims that surfaced during his school years left him brokenhearted. In his Frank autobiography Spare, Prince Harry described how he was falsely accused of cheating on some significant school exams and how he was determined to clear his name. But the now 38-year-old claimed that the palace refused him the chance to address the escalating allegations in a press conference. The Duke of Sussex wrote the following in his book. I was charged with fraud. An art teacher claimed to have proof of cheating, but it was later revealed to be false. It turned out to be completely unrelated, and the exam board later approved me. But it was already too late. Harry said the allegation had a significant impact on him, and he wanted to make sure the public knew the truth. He stated. The charge persisted. Brokenhearted, I yearned to issue a statement, conduct a news conference, and inform everyone. I completed the task. I did not defraud. The palace forbade me. Never complain, never explain was the palace's steadfast family maxim in this situation as it was in most others. Especially if the complainant was a young man of 18 years old. As a result, I was made to watch silently as the newspapers constantly labeled me a cheat and a dunce. When Harry was only 18 years old in 2005, a teacher at Eton was charged with assisting him and even reportedly finishing his work. When approached to assist Harry by another team, his former art teacher said she was profoundly surprised, however the teacher in question has vehemently refuted these claims. Harry included a lot of memories from his early years in his Frank memoir, as well as his life as a husband and father of two today. Harry began reading the book as soon as he learned of his mother's terrible passing from his father. According to Harry, his father sat on the side of the bed and put his hand on my knee to wake him up. Princess Diana, who was 36 years old, passed away from injuries she sustained in a vehicle accident in Paris. Harry lost his mother when he was only 12 years old, 